and welcome back to Share Elation, where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy. I finally arrived in London. I'm staying at the Novotel Canary Wharf in this room 1303. I kind of put my bags down already, but just wanted to give you guys the full effect when I walk into the room. It's pretty nice, so very modern looking, and not the biggest room. You know, last time when I came here, I stayed at the Marriott, which was a lot bigger, but I think these are one of those modern hotels. It's a nice double bed, and it seems to be like an angled building. I'll take a look at it a little more in the daytime. Right now it's close to 10 p.m. at night. Uh, let's see, so I'll just give you a quick peek outside if I can find the opening of the curtain. And it has a nice view of the city. Sorry about that. Let's see, not much to see, but there's a nice desk, big screen TV. Here's another window that allows you to look outside. Let's just take a peek. Let's see, again, just the view of the street. Very, very tiny little fridge. It's kind of cute with a little water kettle, some hot chocolate, coffee. It's very clean. The bathroom just opens up with like double doors like this, closes and opens like this. And here's just a quick view of the toilet. Nothing really, you know, special, but it has the necessities. Sink some toiletries it comes with let's see just soap um two bottles of conditioner which is strange no shampoo have to ask for that this is the view of the shower very red but other than that pretty clean let's take a look over here it's just a closet with hair dryer safe um an iron. Let's see what's here. Iron board and some hangers. So that's pretty much the view of the room. Take you take you a look at the uh, from a different angle. Okay, so I'll be here for the whole week. I'm here for work, but hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in some shopping and um, we'll be able to do some shopping at Heathrow when I check out on Friday. So thanks for coming with me. Hope you enjoy these kind of ad hoc little vlogs of my journey. It's been two years and this is one of the joys of traveling, right? So thanks and have a good evening. Bye. Hi everyone. It's um, about nine o'clock at night, London time. I came out of work before. Um, near the Canary Wharf Financial District and just heading back to the hotel, uh, the Novotel Hotel, after having dinner with some co-workers. Here's the Canary Wharf Station. I'm just making my way back to the hotel and I thought you'd just want to take a look at the, the London night scene <laughs> or lack thereof. So it's a Monday night after a typical day at work and had some dinner with some co-workers that I haven't seen in over two years and it's uh, a nice breezy chilly a little bit chilly kind of spring evening in London which is probably typical um, with the weather today I feel like it's similar to New York weather Actually, I heard New York is even colder, suddenly be turned into somewhat of like a winter kind of weather. So here we are, I'm walking down um, away from Canary Wharf. And I've only been here two other times, but I've only been here like um, 
two years apart <laughs> from each other. So last time was February 2020, where I was lucky enough to shop at Terminal 5 Heathrow. And that's when I scored my beloved Loewe puzzle bag. And also got some uh, Chanel earrings, which I featured on my channel before. So this is just a little snapshot of what it's like in London now towards the end of March 2022. Okay. It's pretty nice and peaceful, I would say. Seems a little more peaceful than New York these days with all the crimes happening and uh, all these random attacks on innocent people. So this is a nice little change from just being in New York. So my walk to and from the hotel is about 10 minutes. over to where the hotel is. So up there you'll see the Hilton Hotel. I never had a chance to stay at that one yet. Um, last time I came I stayed at the Marriott which is closer to the office for me uh, but this time I got the Novotel. Okay, so here's another view from this side of that canal. Honestly, it's been a nice little change in scenery, just um, being able to go out again, see people, talk to people. Um, let me know if you feel that way too. It's a little weird because right now in London, everything has sort of opened up. Um, there's no restrictions coming into London like you don't even need to prove your vaccination. You don't need a negative COVID test. You don't um, even really need to wear a mask. I mean, I had to wear a mask on the plane, but that's about it. Um, so right now I'm passing over to the side of that canal. And when I head up to the end of this little block, we will be in closer to the Novotel Hotel, which I just wanted to show you what it looked like from the outside. So those that are staying in Canary Wharf Hilton, this is kind of what it looks like, it's sort of on the corner street. There's a lot of construction going here, going on here when I was here two years ago. Um, I think they were building a lot of like apartments or hotels. I wasn't sure what it was, but it was just some kind of construction going on. Looks like it's near completion. I mean, not really a whole lot to see, but sometimes um, I think people like to see sort of logs of people walking around in major cities. So right here, you see that yellow sign far away, that, that tall building, that's the Novotel Hotel. And yeah, it's been a good first day um, of my week at work. Just a little weird, right? Like walking around the office, not wearing masks. Um, people are still, you know, social distance a little bit, but it's definitely weird. And 
it's weird, but oh, this is the street, Marsh Fall. It's weird, but it's also like, oh, things are a little back to normal now. So kind of feel like it's it, like it was pre-pandemic a little bit. Okay, so anyone that needs to come to Canary Wharf, it, everything is fairly walking distance. I noticed that things do close fairly early compared to New York. Um, but I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's the financial district. So people go home after dinner, if they stay out for dinner. But um, everything is kind of walking distance, at least to and from work to these hotels. So this here is this Aspen Canary Wharf. And you can see still there's some construction across the street. Yeah. Construction here. See even all throughout, still some construction. So I think it's like a developing area because I'm guessing because things are starting to open back up. So right here, you see, I'm walking towards the yellow building. That's Novotel. This is Wardian, London. Okay, here we are, right across the street from Novotel. It's a pretty um, modern hotel, kind of minimalist sort of vibe. So if I stand back here for a moment, you'll see here, it's like a yellow building, but on top, it's sort of like gray, grayish, and you'll see it's pretty noticeable when you're approaching this area because it's a pretty tall building. They have, um, I believe, a rooftop restaurant, though I haven't had a chance to check it out. There's this little sort of playground here. across the street they have um, cafe and the entrance is right by those two X's there so I'm gonna cross the street pretty soon oh, this is cute you see those stacked cups that's I guess the outdoor seating area for the cafe So you see, this is that the cafe called Bokan, and of course more construction. Okay, so let's go inside. Okay, so it's a kind of like a. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the style. Kind of modern, industrial kind of feel. Here's the lobby. And here's where you go in to the, the elevator, the lift. Okay, so I had to cut that video off a little bit because people were looking at me weird. Uh, again, I'm staying on the 13th floor, so when you get out, you have this um, really cool looking, in industrial looking like sign that just directs you to the room. So the hallway is very nice and clean. I feel like it's pretty new, but I remember two years ago when I was here, some of my coworkers already stayed here, so not new new but you know pretty clean okay. again here's my room and you would have seen the tour from yesterday so more to come tomorrow as i continue 
my work week here. Bye.